So in the last problem, we just calculated the molar mass of sucrose. So let's just leave that up there. Um, so let's go to the next problem. It says, how many moles of sucrose are in a tablespoon containing 2.85 grams of the substance? So it gives us the mass of sucrose in this problem. Two point eight five grams, um, and it wants us to it wants us to tell tell you how many moles of the substance there is. So, hopefully, you remember whenever you have one of these ratios, that's what we call a conversion factor in chemistry, right? So you can use that conversion factor to take this one in particular, the molar mass, to take grams to moles or moles to grams, right? So we have grams here, and we have the molar mass of the same substance. So we can use that um, particular conversion factor to do this conversion. Okay, so let's do that. So what we're going to do, remember, we're trying to cancel out grams and get moles. So we're going to put grams on the bottom, right? So 342. 30 grams. And if you want to, you can put sucrose and sucrose. I just didn't do it this time. And one mole of sucrose. So cancel, cancel. And then just look at the So remember, you know the conversion factor from grams to moles, right? That's called the molar mass. 